If no one has bet yet, you can either check or bet. If someone has already made a bet, then you can either raise or call. Hey folks, today we are going to learn about the fundamental moves a player can make in a poker game. The whole game revolves around these moves and it's extremely important to know what you can do during a game. We'll also talk about when is the best time to make them depending upon if you have a good hand or a bad one. So make sure to watch the video till the end. In poker, there are five main moves you can make. These moves are called betting actions. These betting actions can be categorized into two buckets. Actions where you put some money in the game and actions where you don't put any money in the game. Pretty simple, right? Let's talk about the exciting part first. That's when you put some money in the game. When you bet, you put some money in the game and this money goes into the middle of the table and becomes part of the pot. The winner of this hand will get all the money in the pot. The minimum you can bet is one blind. A bet means that you are the first one to put in money in the current betting round. If someone has already put in money and you want to make a bigger bet, then that's called a raise. A raise happens when you want to add more money to the amount that someone else has already bet. You are making the bet high. In most no limit hold'em games, your raise size should be at least as big as the previous bet. This is called a full raise. For example, if someone bet 40, then you have to put in at least 80 to make it a valid raise. This rule is overlooked by many beginners, even those who have been playing for a while. So remember, your raise size should be at least as big as the previous bet. On the other hand, there is no upper limit to how much you can raise in no limit poker. You can even choose to put all of your chips in. This is called going all in. You can also make the bet higher if someone has already made a raise. This is called a re-raise. Now, if you don't want to raise and still want to stay in the game, you can choose to call. A call is when you match the bet or a raise made by another player. You're answering their bet by putting in the same amount of money. These were the three moves you can make which involve putting money in the game. But what about when you don't want to put money in the game? The first move you can make is called a check. A check means that you're passing your turn to the next player, but you're still in the game. You're taking a pause and checking what others do without putting in any money. But you will need to take additional action later if someone decides to bet. You can only check if no one has made a bet in the current round. You can show that you're checking by tapping the table like this. The last betting action is called a fold. This is when you don't want to play in the hand anymore. You give your cards to the dealer and they will be put away with other folded cards. When you fold, you are giving away your chance of winning the pot. Here are all the betting actions which are available to you during the game. If no one has bet yet, you can either check or bet. If someone has already made a bet, then you can either raise or call or you can always choose to fold. Now, what should you do in a game of poker? The first thing that you should do is to like this video and keep watching. What you should do depends on a lot of things, but here's a simple idea. You'll be betting or raising for one of the two reasons. The first one is for value. A value bet is when you have a good hand, like a two pair, a straight or a flush. You want to bet in this case to make the pot bigger. You want to do this because you are most likely to win this hand and you want the maximum amount of money from other players. The second reason to bet is as a bluff, which means you're pretending to have a good hand when you don't. When betting as a bluff, you want other players to fold and win the pot with a worse hand. But be careful, if other players catch on to you, you will lose a lot of money. That's why you should play passively when you don't have a strong hand. Be more inclined to check if no one has bet yet, or just call the previous bet if someone has made one. By playing passive, you make sure that the size of the pot remains small, which is what you should do with weaker hands. This way, you won't end up losing too much money if your hand does not improve. Now, if someone bets and you don't have a good hand, the best thing to do is just to fold your cards and save your money for the next round. My advice to you as a beginner is to keep the bluffing to a minimum and focus more on value bets. I see beginners lose a lot of money because they bet very less when they have a strong hand and make fancy play by trying to bluff other players. Once you understand the game better, which you will if you subscribe to this channel, add bluffing to your gameplay slowly. Till then, show aggression only on good cards. Now you're ready to start betting in your games. Do you know how many betting rounds are there in poker? And do you know each round has a special name? Don't worry, this video will tell you all about it. Thank you for watching.